What's up everybody, Naresh here, welcoming you back into another video. And in today's video, we're going to talk about a thermostat. The thermostat, which is a very essential product you should have in your home to control the heating using your combi boiler. Thing is, if you do not have it, technically your boiler will be running on the timers or we keep running actually. With the help of thermostat, you can actually control its working. So when you are at home, you can activate it and it works, which is the temperature and off it goes. Simple is that. Now you can spend from 50 pound to 500 pound if you want to on thermostat. There are so many things are available nowadays in the market, starting with the very cheap Chinese thermostat, which you can't even do anything about or a Tado thermostat if you want to, which costs you a lot of money as well. But it's the choice you have. But the thermostat which I'm going to talk about in this video today does all the best things and come in a small package as well. So here is the thermostat which we're going to talk about in this video and it's by Solus Control. Model is Quantum. Come in the wire as well as the wireless if you want to. Big display, slim design. You're going to see this all in this video yourself. Now another important thing which I would like to mention to all of you that you can also integrate your Solus Quantum with the home automation products of Google or Amazon as well. By using the UG600, a hub, a home automation hub by Solus Control. Link for that will be available in the video description. So first I'm going to show you what is included in the package following with the installation as well. And in the end of this video, I'll be sharing with you my conclusion that what I think about this thermostat. So with that all been said, let's quickly jump into the video. Solus WQ610RF Quantum thermostat for your combi boiler, which is very slim in design, fully programmable with the RF receiver, to come with the software with the load compensation and you can also use it with the open therm version 4.2 software too so first to start with we're going to see what comes with this thermostat installation following with the demonstration that it is working and look into the menu that how you can program it as well then by the end of the video we're going to discuss that is it interfaceable with the home automation or not following with the conclusion I'm sure without my conclusion telling you anything about it, you will have an idea that is that product for you or not. So with that all being said, let's not waste too much of time and see what we have inside the package. Package includes one quick guide for installer, explaining each and everything about the thermostat, how to configure as well as the connections, which I will be explaining in the video as well. Another quick guide for the pairing process, couple of screws and 3M VHB tape, one quantum wireless receiver which will be connected with your combi boiler. Right on the top of it you have an on and off button as well as the auto and a manual control. Just in case you don't want this boiler to work with the thermostat, you just need to simply put it in a manual mode or turn it off if you want to. Receiver also come with a status indicator light explaining to you that what is happening with it and in case you are having any problem with it, the troubleshoot guide is also available within the manual too. Now all terminals to connect this quantum wireless receiver with your combi boiler are available on the back. So first you're going to install this ledge following with the your receiver and as it is clear from the terminals on the back all the connections are very nicely represented starting with the live and neutral connection volt free contact and if your boiler supports open therm connection a and b port are available too now within the installation of this receiver module with your boiler you will be involved with the electrics so if you're not confident guys do not touch it but if you'd like to go forward for it, make sure everything is fully isolated. And now in last but not least, we have a QW610RF Quantum Room Thermostat, which honestly from the first look, look very nice in build quality and slim as well, where the back plate is easily removable from the thermostat and can easily be installed on a wall. Now in the front of thermostat, we have a very decent sized display showing each and everything what is happening around it in terms of showing the actual temperature, what we are programmed to go to, as well as the date and time. Down below you have a menu button as well as a scrolling button for the temperature 
and making sure that accept button is also there too. Now another good thing which I noticed about this Solus Quantum that you do not need to install any batteries. Simply charge up your Quantum and off it goes. Now thermostat would also give you a head up warning that it's running at the low battery. Straight away you can just simply charge it without any problem using any standard 5 volt micro USB charging port. Now as soon as I connected it, it's going to show you the software version, kind of a power it up and stuff like that. And obviously you're going to see the status indicator light as well. Now when there's a low battery actually you need to remember that it will not work at all simple as that now you leave it for charging once it's fully charged it's good to go and ready to run well now let's go ahead with the installation of receiver which will be connected with your boiler and all the installation instructions are available in within the installer guide but I will make sure explain to you each and everything you wanted to know about it and at the same time you might have noticed that I already have one Solus controller available in here I'm going to take this one out but I'll be showing you each and every wire which you need to handle obviously every boiler have a different wiring but this wireless receiver from Solus can go in three different configuration and all three wiring diagrams are available within the installer guide you have to select the one which is suitable for your boiler. The one boiler we have here is a main combi boiler. Now the way this combi boiler works, it's got a loop connection within it. So if you break that loop connection, boiler will stop working, the heating part. So simple is that I need to follow this first volt free contact drawing in here. But if you have the other one, which is for the open therm, you can also follow the, this one. Or if your boiler supports s plan connection, you can do it this way. Everything you wanted to know is easy and straightforward. You have to be a bit confident when you're working around the electrics. If you're not, do not try it. Well, let's go ahead with the installation process. You might have noticed that I already have one Solus Control controller receiver in here, which I'm going to take off. But just before that, I need to make sure that the power to the boiler is isolated and fuse is taken out as well once your boiler is successfully isolated open up this circuit board compartment and access all the wiring in my case it's right in here you have to check your manufacturer detail for that now usually on the back of your boiler on the terminal block you're going to see a scheme explaining each and every wiring right in here now in my case you can see that it explains that where the AC will be connected and where is the link wiring as well now my intentions are to provide the AC which is required for the Solus receiver from the boiler as well as a link wiring now on the terminal wiring you can clearly see there are extra fuses available as well within your boiler now make sure using the multimeter that there is no voltage AC voltage available in here now I would like to explain as much as possible here I have a four core cable where every core is numbered from one to four where I'll be using number one on L which is live and the number two for the neutral and a three and four will be going on the link wiring you also might have noticed that we only need four wires for our Solus receiver live and the neutral and the link wiring now to explain furthermore live which is code number one will be going on to this L terminal number two will be going on the N terminal which is a neutral and a three and four can go on this volt free content which is NO and COM well now all wirings are completed let's install this receiver on the ledge and close all our boiler terminals Well now let's go ahead and power up our boiler. Now as soon you turn it on, you're going to see the red light coming on your quantum receiver, which means that it's powered up. And the lost connection link will automatically get connected. And you will notice that it is connected with your receiver as well. And you will notice that your transmitter will be connected with the receiver straight away. When green light is on, this means that the heating is been called by your transmitter as you can see the notification on your transmitter too now as soon the heating requirement is completed 
you're going to see a return of two. Well, let's have a very quick look within the menu offered by the Solos Quantum. By pressing this menu button, you're going to see the first option which is for the programmable schedule and you can program it with respect to the days time as well very easy and straightforward to go select the time and what temperature you like if you want to now if you'd like to get out of this menu by pressing this menu button again and getting out of it now we are back into the same area now using these navigational keys you can go through the menu straight away operating mode what mode you have selected you got a multiple modes available one is a manual mode you set the temperature it will reach that temperature and turn off the heating simple is that running 24 7 or if you want is auto mode as well as the off mode auto mode is actually the schedule times it will be maintaining the temperature with respect to the schedule times i've been running in a manual mode seems to be working good for me the next tab you have in the menu is for the setting your time and a date you can set it how you want it create and edit your holiday time as well as the test your link to which is with the receiver you can also get into the pairing mode within the menu as well as well as the advanced setting now if you when you go click onto it you're going to say yes or no on it by pressing the yes you're going to access everything within the advanced settings where you have a dsst control next you have your create pin access then the service alert as well as the optimum stop as well you can turn it on and off next option you have is a thermostat calibration if you want to then minimum and maximum set point settings as well as a frost span control and everything which you should know about the thermostat usually people leave these all things to the default now accessing the menu and what is inside is pretty much straightforward now what you have on the display is also showing you what you can do with this thermostat or what mode it is running actually now right in here you can see there's a manual mode what time is it and what is the temperature which is actual actually so if you'd like to change it by pressing these two navigational keys you can set the temperature up whatever you like and you want this temperature to get accepted by pressing this accept button in here very easy straightforward your battery status is also available on the display too you can install this thermostat on the wall without any problem and you can exactly see the footprint as well looks exactly same as your single gang switch simple is that is going to maintain the temperature and keep working well now is the time of conclusion that what i think about this solace quantum thermostat now to start with the display on the quantum is fantastic you can see it clearly it's got a light on it as well which brightens up everything nicely no problem whatsoever in terms of selecting the temperature and the controls slim in design you can install it on a wall and looks great too thermostat receiver does not take extra batteries and the one charge will last you up till 200 days that's not bad at all now another important thing which i would like to mention to all of you that you can also integrate your solus quantum with the home automation products of google or amazon as well by using the ug600 a hub a home automation hub by solace control link for that will be available in the video description so this thermostat is basically good in both worlds if you do not want it to have integration of home automation you do not need to buy the extra bits and pieces you can straight away have a thermostat which just works in your home without any problem with a bigger display even the old people can nicely change it too that would be all for my side actually guys i think i have explained shown everything you wanted to know about this thermostat and that would be all for my side thank you very much for watching this video if you found this video informative why not click on to that subscribe button down here or wherever you find it on the screen that would be all bye for now see you later